Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I have a quick tip for you how you can speed up the process of making all of these banners for the latest sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around and find out more. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. So if you watch my process video for the latest sheet load of cards, the June 2020, you know that it was a tad time consuming to make all the banners for these. I had used a punch to get a template and then I hand cut them all and then I hand cut the mats for each one of them. Well, yesterday on Instagram, one of my subscribers at AZ Crafty shared a look at the card set she made and then she had a picture of how she more easily made all of these banners. Up on the screen here, I'll pop a picture of her cards and then a picture of what process she used. I thought it was a great idea, so I asked her for permission to share it with you here on camera today. Are you ready to see how to do these a little easier? This middle item you might recognize from my process video. This is the Stampin' Up! Triple Banner Punch, and this is how I made my template. I had just taken a scrap of cardstock, punched the end, and then used that to start cutting all of the pieces that would eventually wind up on my cards. Well, AZ Crafty used the same punch, but she used it a little differently so she didn't have to hand cut all of the mats. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now you might not have this punch, but you might live close to a Hobby Lobby and they have a similar punch and it looks like this. It does just slightly different widths for cutting the banners, but then you can see at the back here it has that same angle. So you might be able to get this a little bit quicker or have better access to this. But if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator already and you want to order this, I hope you'll consider that. Now if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I do have a couple suggestions in the description box below. Both of them are on my sheet load of cards collaboration team and I know that they would appreciate the business if you live in the United States and like I say, don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. For the first one, I'll use the Stampin' Up! triple banner punch. The process is going to be pretty much the same but I just wanted to show you with both. What AZ Crafty did was she had temporary adhesive or a temporary tape runner. I don't, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of my ATG on there and just kind of make it less sticky with my fingers. And then I'm going to center and align the strip. So you'll see there that it's flush at this end and then the excess is here. Now what I'm going to do is flip my punch over and I'm going to push it in to my punch. And I'm going to turn it over so I can see when the paper comes out. And what you're going to do is get it in there, center it as best as you can. And I just want to cut off the very end. When you think it's good, you're just going to punch it. Then you're going to take the two pieces apart, put adhesive on the back of your pattern paper piece, and then place it toward the bottom so the border is even. There is one more step, it's not quite done, but you would then just snip off the top of this. And you could use scissors, you could use a guillotine trimmer, you could use a regular trimmer. For today, I'm just gonna get out my little Fiskars trimmer. Put that in there. And there you have it. Now we'll go ahead and try the same thing with the Hobby Lobby Punch. I will let you know it was harder to punch through with this, but it did work. And there is the finished one with the Hobby Lobby Punch. 
While they're sitting side by side, you might want to take note that the Hobby Lobby punch does go deeper into the paper and the cardstock. So if you were using this for your sentiment piece, you would want to make sure that you move your sentiment up far enough so it wouldn't get punched off. I hope you enjoyed that little tip I shared with you today. I will link AZ Crafty's Instagram page in my description box below if you want to go check it out. And I'll also have links to the latest sheet load of cards videos. Until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.